What's happening? Today we are not in bustling Bucharest or the charismatic streets of Cairo. No, today somewhere we are in somewhere that is a bit worse. I'm in Clune Park, Glasgow, which is often nicknamed Scotland's Chernobyl. And I'm happy to say that it's not radioactive and nor is it controlled by the Russians. It is just, however, a bit of a dump. This whole housing estate was built in the late 19th century for the shipbuilding workers that worked on the River Clyde just back there. However, with the decline of the shipbuilding industry, everyone seemed to leave. Apparently there's only 20 people left living in this whole estate. The council would like to pull the whole place down but they can't pull it down if there's people still living here. But as you can see, most of it is abandoned. And I thought we'd just take a look and see what realistically Chernobyl would look like if it was in Scotland. Now if you read up on Clune Park, two things you will find out about is this primary school right here that was built in 1897 and this church over here that was built in 1905. And as you can see, they're in a bit of a disarray. The church closed in 1997 and the primary school following suit in about 2008. Since then it's lying absolutely abandoned and it's completely overgrown by nature as you can see, you know, nature has literally just reclaimed the land. And don't worry, I'm not cutting about this whole shit hole by myself, I've brought the boys with me as well. This was once somebody's house, but let's go in. Strange door mat, using an actual door as a mat. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fucking hell, shit myself there. It's absolutely crazy to think that this was somebody's living room probably a couple of decades ago. However, and there's two perfectly good couches there, so we can get them on Gumtree and probably get at least 30 quid. Kitchen as well. Obviously, the cupboard doors have fell off. There's a lot of stuff going on here as well. Out here would probably be some kind of playing park once upon a time. It is no more though, and as you can see, it's just broken glass everywhere. I mean, there's a couple of panes over there that still have glass in them, but don't worry, I'm not, I'm not going to put my foot through them or anything like that. I don't know if you can see this up here. But evidently this whole bit has been on fire once upon a time. If I can move my way around this place. Yeah, it has had some serious smoke damage here once upon a time. A pack of super noodles here. I don't know what flavour they are, but I don't want to pick them up either. The date on them, best before August 2011. So that just shows you how long this place has been abandoned for. Good. What is it you've got in your hand there, Kyle? It's uh, 99 hours of free AOL, but it seems to be missing the disc. You can see Emily, somebody has tried to board these windows up once upon a time but I don't know if somebody's just pushed them straight back in or whether it's been the wind but the repair hasn't lasted anyway. Who's getting pushed down that hill on that then? Hooray! <laughs> As I was saying before, this is the church and it's all quite heavily boarded up with metal boards now so I don't know if there's actually a way in at all or not. It might be around the back, we'll explore that later on though. This one behind me is one of the better looking buildings. I don't know if anybody still lives there or not, but it's definitely one of the better looking ones. All the windows are still intact. Sorry mate. I nearly had brown pants for a second there, because some guy shouted out the window and asked me what I was videoing, but he's actually quite sound with it, so it's alright. But yes, I was right, that is one of the ones where people still live in it. <laughs> This is all, Emily suffered some fire damage as well in this building here. Same in this room, Emily in a really really bad fire in here at one point. What do you think Murray? Light's still in here. Is it? There's some tribal artwork written on the walls of this one we're going into right now. Again, fire damaged. Seems to be everything around here is fire damaged. Some more doors that have been boarded up here, so I'm going to try to keep folk out. This ply looks fairly fresh. Doesn't look like it's been deteriorated, especially this one. Looks like it was put up not that long ago. I don't know what all this stuff is here, but it seems to be on the floor in most of the apartments. I don't know if it's just dog food or whether it's gravel or something for soaking up fluid. I've literally no idea. And there's also like a wire that goes across here that's almost barbed. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to bother going in there. Maybe some kind of obstacle course to get in there. 
Perfectly good suit jacket line there as well as somebody's mattress. Let's go and see this flat, this looks alright. Balls of methadone. Line of the whole floor. 2022. Fairly recent and somebody must have been in here. Plenty of balls of methadone as well as plenty of Passantes. So Emily somebody has had a really good time in here. And Emily whoever lived here or lives here now is Emily DVD daft. It's got plenty of DVDs lying about everywhere that you can help yourself to. Boys. Plenty of random stuff in here as well. He's also got an Xbox 360 controller but I don't see an Xbox 360. He does have the controller however. Smells really really strong like weed in here as well. Nice flower decoration though. It's quite sad to think how low you know you must come to in your life where you just you know squat or live in somewhere like this and take methadone or other hard drugs such as heroin and you know it's it's quite sad to think getting to that point where that is really how you go about quite a shame it just shows you how well built these kind of places were when they were built in the late 19th century like look at the thickness of that wall you would not see that in a modern new build like. <laughs> It's meant not to think what this bit would have been like, you know, back in the day when it was like overly populated and stuff. You would have had folk, you know, kids and families and stuff running about, you know, the man working in the ship building down the road, and it would have been an absolutely buzzing place, like, it would have been folk everywhere. And now it's just deserted and it's complete disarray, falling to bits, and it's going to get demolished. But once upon a time, it would have been a very busy, happy place. Plus this is a big old place, this. There's 400 flats in 45 four-storey tenement buildings here. It's quite big like when you factor it all in. I've seen videos online of folk getting into the primary school and having a look about in there, but evidently since then somebody's been round and padlocked literally every single gate and it's been boarded up with metal boards, so I don't think we're going to get in there today. Same kind of goes for the church. It's all boarded up as well, but we're going to have a look around the back and see if we can get in any other way. This is round the back of the church, and no, there's not another way in at all. This is it. These ones behind me now look like they also could be more likely to be inhabited than any other rest of the ones. They look a bit nicer, obviously windows still intact and stuff like that as well. Here we have the local corner shop as well, Tony's licensed grocer. Emily, he's been shut for a few years as well. Well, I'm not surprised. Hardly going to be any business. Right, so that's Clune Park Explored. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, remember to like, leave a comment and subscribe. If you didn't like the video, then I don't really care. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Today we are not in the bustling streets of Bucharest or in charismatic. Can't. This whole housing estate was built in the early. Oh f it wasn't built in early, no. Hey! <laughs> Stinks really badly of. Oh. This is also a very big old place, this. It's 40. F hell, I'm not gonna get the numbers right in this, am I? <laughs> because that's Clune Park exclude. F hell. Right, so that's Clune Park Explore. Oh, f can't he speak properly?